This is called Where the Sun Sets. In the crystal silence of ice and snow, echoed through the peaks and the lake below, sat a rishi with long coiled hair, the song of heaven frozen in the air. God himself sang that song, the rishi silent, his breathing long. Then God spoke upon the frozen air to the rishi with the long coiled hair. O oh, great rishi, I've a need for you, an important job that only you can do. The rishi still spoke not a word, but said in silence, do it yourself, Lord. The Lord answered, laughed out loud, O oh, great Rishi, you make me proud, but this job must be done by hand. It doesn't require God, it requires a man. Through all the ages to ease man's pain, many I have sent in my name, Krishna, Buddha, Jesu, and Rasul, did the job and gave the tools. Sadly, though, it is my great pain that only the personality remains. It is these cults of personality that keep man's soul from being free. I need you now to bear the sword that man may bow only to the word. You must go and end this tyranny and 960 million you shall be. The Rishi spoke, then let's agree. I will go, but you'll work through me. I'll do this job, but make no claim, so only there will be you to blame. God in his mercy smiled and said, then all who come must give their head. This sacred Khalsa that we'll create shall be in every land and state. And when the new age comes, look to the place of the setting sun. There shall burn my shining light as the day burns away the night. Rishi Dushtaman held his breath, then transformed himself, cheating death. He flew like a hawk through the spiritual sky and took the birth as Gobindrai. He created the Khalsa to reign supreme, and by them was made Guru Gobind Singh. The city Guru he set in place to give us guidance through time and space. And in this land of the setting sun, the age of Aquarius has begun to fan the ember of Guru's light into a flame that is shining 